So, you want to know about certifications in cybersecurity? Well, you've come to the right place because today we're going through the new Google Cybersecurity Certification. This certification, or program as Google call it, is designed to teach you all the essential skills required to be able to work in cybersecurity. Now, the claim that Google are making is that this program is designed for complete beginners. There are a lot of certifications that make this claim, so we want to see if that's actually true or if you do need a little bit of experience before you go for this program. So make sure you stay for the whole video. Now, as mentioned, I have done videos on CompTIA, ISC Squared and GIAC on my channel. So if you're interested or you don't know much about them, do also check that out as they have beginner certifications. Now, let's move on to why you're actually here. So the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate aims to teach you the skills needed to protect networks, devices, people and data from unauthorized access and cyber attacks. As mentioned, they do claim it's for beginner level and there is no expected prerequisites. We will slowly dive into that in a short while. Now, turning to the course itself, it is an eight course series and it's taught by experts at Google. Now, that's not just a claim that they are making. They did acquire Mandiant, which is currently the leading cybersecurity incident response provider, meaning they will have had hands-on people put in their expertise into this course. Then in terms of the length of the course, it will have around 170 hours of instruction. That in itself will include hundreds of practice-based assessments and portfolio-ready projects that simulate real-world scenarios. So then that works out to be roughly six months of work at about seven hours a week. Of course, that's an approx estimate based on the content. However, it means that it's highly doable if you are doing something alongside it. It's not something that needs full 10 hours a day concentration. Obviously, if you're trying to get it done within a specific time frame, you will have to dedicate a lot more time to it. However, six months at seven hours a week is highly doable with work alongside. And the course itself contains a mix of videos, assessments and hands-on labs. Hands-on labs is probably the most important there, as I do recommend looking out for these when you're planning on taking courses or certifications, as it gives you real world practical experience for what you would be doing on the job and it allows you to learn a lot better rather than just reading a block of text. Most notably in the course you will learn very high in demand skills such as Python, Linux and SQL which is then pointing me towards this being a very beginner friendly course as some courses out there for beginners do tend to assume you already have this knowledge. However as you will shortly see when we dive deeper they do teach you these skills at very basic levels. That doesn't go to say that if you have any knowledge in this area already that you should be put off. It just means that it may be slightly less challenging for you in this area, but you will definitely still learn something new. So in terms of the cost of the program, it is different depending on which specific sections you plan on taking and how long you take to do the exam. But roughly, if you plan on taking all of the modules and it takes you say five to six months it could cost you around three hundred dollars which in my opinion is really not a bad price for the content that they're delivering and just for your satisfaction a lot of people have already taken this course and it currently stands at a 4.9 star rating from over 1500 reviews which is obviously very positive for anyone that's thinking to go for it before we dive into the actual content, if you're interested in cybersecurity or you just want to talk about certifications or you're struggling to get into the industry, do join my Discord community in the link in the bio. Okay, so as mentioned, there are eight sections for this program. Looking at section number one, we start off with foundations of cybersecurity. With this part of the course, it will immediately look to equip you with the skills you need to prepare for an entry level cybersecurity job. So you'll learn about significant events that led to the development of the field and then it will explain the importance of cybersecurity in today's business operations and you'll explore the job responsibilities and skills of an entry level cybersecurity analyst with their main focus being on how to identify security attacks and how they impact business operations. So a very key area for your foundation of starting in cybersecurity and you can see from what's on screen the skills you'll gain alongside it. Then moving on to topic number two, we have how to manage security risks. This is where you'll now start to take a deeper dive into concepts that were already introduced in the first course with an emphasis on how cybersecurity professionals use specific frameworks and controls to protect business operations. 
In particular here, you'll start to explore common threats, risks and vulnerabilities. And that includes looking at different types of frameworks and how organizations can use them to protect themselves. An example of that which is already listed on the screen under the skills you'll gain is the NIST management framework. That's a topic and framework you'll hear about again and again in the cybersecurity field. So I think it's really good that they're already introducing this to you at a very early stage when you're learning the foundations. Now moving on to topic number three, we have networks and network security. This is where you will dive deeper into the fundamentals of networking. So that includes learning to define the types of networks and the components of networks. You'll learn how to illustrate how data is sent and received over a network and learn to understand how to secure a network against intrusion attacks. And finally, describe system hardening techniques, all very foundational networking skills that you'll need when getting into cybersecurity. This is one that topic that people tend to struggle on if they have no IT background, but it's good here because looking into how they're explaining it, it seems like a very beginner friendly approach. So I do really like that. Moving on to topic number four, we now have Linux and SQL. In this course, you'll then start to practice using Linux, which is an operating system commonly used in cybersecurity, where they will teach you and you can practice navigating and managing file systems and authenticating users through the Linux command line. Then you'll also move on to using SQL to communicate with a database, which are two really good skills to learn that I believe a lot of courses out there for beginners do not offer. So that's a really good and important piece of these courses. Then moving on to number five, we now have assets, threats and vulnerabilities. In this course, you'll first build an understanding of how assets are classified and then you'll start to become familiar with common threats and vulnerabilities and the security controls used by organizations to protect valuable information and then mitigate risk. Given that this is cybersecurity, this obviously is a very heavy weighted topic and you should definitely put a lot of time into making sure you are understanding each learning point because it's probably one you will refer a lot back to in your cybersecurity career. Then now moving on to the sixth topic, we have detection and response. Here is where you will define a security incident and explain the incident response lifecycle, including the roles and responsibilities of the incident response teams. You'll then also learn to analyze and interpret network communications to detect security incidents using packet sniffing tools to capture network traffic. Of course, that might not mean anything to you right now. These are definitely skills you'll need, say, for example, working in a SOC, a security operations center as an analyst. Now, moving on to topic number seven, we have here how to automate cybersecurity tasks with Python. Here is where you'll be introduced to the Python programming language and learn to apply it in a cybersecurity setting to automate tasks. You'll start by focusing on foundational Python programming concepts, including data types, variables, conditional statements, and iterative statements. You'll then learn to work with Python effectively by developing functions, using libraries and modules, and making your code readable. In addition to this, you'll then work with string and list data and learn how to import, parse and debug files. Again, going through all that might mean nothing to you right now, but it's all important information used within cybersecurity. I do myself work within the field and we have used Python programming to automate tasks and just make our life easier in general. That's what it's for. So don't worry if this is a topic you're worrying about as a lot of people do worry about Python because they tend to take a bit longer to understand it. But as they say, practice does make perfect. So keep practicing in the background and don't worry if you're struggling at first as we all did. Now, moving on to the final topic as we've covered seven. So going on to the eighth, we have preparation for cybersecurity jobs. In this final course, you'll focus on making decisions and escalating incidents to stakeholders. You'll develop the communication and collaboration skills that are needed to inform and influence stakeholders within your organization. You'll then explore how to ethically operate as a cybersecurity professional and you'll discover how to engage with the cybersecurity community and explore jobs in the area and how to complete practice interviews. You'll then finish off with writing a CV or resume 
and a cover letter to prepare for applying and interviewing for jobs in cybersecurity. A lot of people may tend to want to gloss over this part of the course, however, I believe it's probably one of the most key ones, as cybersecurity in itself is a very competitive area, even though it's highly in demand. And one of the things people struggle with the most is getting that first job or passing that first interview. So I believe this part of the course will prep you in a way that you will not be able to do so yourself and it's worth taking the expert advice that they can provide in this section. So now that we've covered all eight topics of the course, what jobs can you actually get with this certification? Obviously, I can't put all the hundreds of jobs that you can get out there, but I thought I'd put probably the three main ones that people would tend to go for after this course. And they are a cybersecurity analyst, a security analyst, yes, they're two different things, and a SOC analyst, which I briefly mentioned before which stands for Security Operations Center. So now that you have all that information, what should you actually do? And what's my opinion on this course overall for beginners? As mentioned, I have reviewed a lot of beginner certifications on my channel. And taking those into account, I do believe that this course by Google is a lot better for beginners who have no experience in IT or cybersecurity for getting into the field. Alongside this, it also carries a major advantage compared to other certifications as once you complete this program, you will not only gain a recognized certificate from Google, but you will also be prepared for the CompTIA Security Plus exam, which they'll also give you a discounted voucher for. The CompTIA Security Plus exam is one of the most popular exams out there for beginners looking to get into cybersecurity. So this is a great way for planning and preparing to get into the field and especially if you're planning for the security plus but you don't have the necessary knowledge or background in cyber to go for it. In terms of the course difficulty itself some people grasp the concepts fairly quickly however some, for some people it can be quite challenging so for whichever type of learner you are you will definitely experience some degree of difficulty as it's a new field but that doesn't mean you can't overcome it with lots of practice and revision. The course overall is a very affordable option in my eyes for people who are looking to want to get into the career compared to what's already out there in the field. And as I said before, you'll learn from subject matter experts at Google, which can be a really big advantage for you looking to get into the field. I hope that all made sense. As I mentioned, we talk about these topics on my Discord in my cybersecurity group. So if you're interested, do click that link in my bio. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please do leave a like, it massively helps out the channel and tells me that you're enjoying this type of content.